here with Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for August. The very first card that you got is from the Shekinah. With her wings, she is the divine feminine aspect of the Creator. She's coming up in a lot of readings. Uh, she says, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, unleash, express, share your gifts. The very next card that you got is that you are gifted. <laughs> you are gifted. Now the gifts that they're referring to on this particular card is intelligence, and talented. You are intelligent and talented. So she wants to stay up here with this because the gifts that she's referring to for you to express definitely, most definitely include wisdom. <laughs> express your gifts. Here comes the airplane. Yeah. Your gifts include intelligence, talents, intelligence. It includes your wisdom, things you've learned, the wisdom that you carry. The very next card that you got is to express your individuality, express your uniqueness. And she, all these want to go together still. And there's another one. <laughs> there's another one talking about sharing gifts. You've got St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, right? It's all about Christmas and sharing gifts, sharing presents and gifts with each other, with our loved ones. Saint Nicholas is with you. So all four of these really trying to give you that push to express and share your gifts with the world. Aww. When these cards came down, it really felt to me like a lot of you were sort of knowing this as these were cards were coming out it's like yeah I know I know I should share I know that I have gifts I know that I should express my gifts and and yet there was this sort of unsteady okay but I don't know how I don't know what to do I don't quite know what to do it's it's a sort of this the spirit is sort of pushing and you are just sort of going okay but I don't know kind of feeling you are the sorceress. You're a magical person. Yes. And you can create anything you want when your intentions are clear. And she's coming up to say that, yeah, it does feel like intentions are not quite, are not quite clear. This card came up from Mother Earth in response to that. So then I said, okay, so how, how you know, how can we help Cancerians to get clarity on how to share their gifts with the world? And Mother Earth comes up with effortless. Let it be effortless. It can be effortless. Uh, talking about the waterfall. So they're wanting to point out that the water starts at the top. And once it goes over that edge, it's just, it's just maneuvering, very graceful. There's no effort to it. it just, it's just going. And as it comes across rocks and different grooves, it just, it just goes with the flow until it gets to the bottom and then it can rest in the pool at the bottom. This card also wants me to read, so I'm going to do that. But this feels almost like it's the center of your reading because the, the message in this hopefully will really resonate with quite a few of you and be able to sort of maybe give you an understanding to sort of free you up, to sort of free you up to this. So you have come to the edge of your comfort zone and find yourself fighting to resist moving past that perceived precipice of who you are, how you can be, and what you can do. That's totally how you guys feel to me. Like you're right on the edge of this precipice. Spirit is asking you to step beyond the edge, this top, this top of the waterfall is kind of right where you're standing. Spirit is asking you to go ahead and and go over. <laughs> go. 
and allow yourself to do so with ease rather than struggle. Just take that leap and then just roll with it. Yes, at times physical exertion is necessary. Yes, you would have to actually take that first step over it. But when performed with fluidity and grace, even when the task seems daunting, you'll find that the movement moves you effortlessly. So as you just sort of relax into it, you'll just go effortlessly. Approach the present situation or relationship with awareness and grace. Do not try to make it effortless. That just creates more strain, right? The key word here is to allow. Allow it. This is not a time to fight for anything, but to surrender to the will of spirit. Huge. They want me to read that again. Surrender to the will of spirit. Even if, you're, even, even if you're being asked to let go completely and tumble into the brink of creation itself. Just be willing to allow and surrender to the will of spirit, no matter what. Yeah. Water naturally flows from higher to lower ground, eventually finding its way to the ocean. One of nature's most exquisite and dynamic demonstrations of this fact is the waterfall. Graceful, powerful, and effortless, she can take our breath away with her cascading beauty. She readily flows around that which may otherwise impede. She's extremely patient, persistent, and skillful in the way she ever so gradually shapes and carves her passageways down the slope of the mountain. Note how the waterfall forms ribbons that accord with the artistry of the stone faces that she descends, joining the calmer pool for a rest before she continues her journey. There is no strain or stress in this movement. The water simply follows natural law in the interaction between the formations of the precipice that she traverses and the powerful fluidity and adaptability of her flow. Effortless. Very big message for you guys. That just felt so profound and appropriate. I'm so glad this is on a video too, so you can rewind and listen to that as many times as you need to for that to really, really sink in. You have some help. You have a, a more, more help with ideas of what you might do and also just uh, some things that might be maybe from, uh, maybe some blocks that might be uh, creating a bit of this uh, stalling. It looks like they're going to speak to that a little bit. An interesting card that came up in this reading is Hello from Heaven. This card doesn't come up very often. This is, for some of you, it will resonate that someone who has passed over, who's on the other side, really wants you to know that they're with you. And it feels like, I asked, I said, okay, is this just even for one person? Because even if one person resonates and benefits from this reading, I'm, we're happy. Uh, we ask for as many Cancerians as possible <laughs> that the message can resonate with. But and so, so when this came up, I asked, okay, is this for one specific person? And I got that there's actually more than one. So for, for many of you, potentially, uh, there, there's someone on the other side who's passed over and they really want you to know that they're with you. They're saying, hello, you know, I'm good and I'm with you. Very special, this one. You also got from Shamuel, I'm helping you find your spiritual soulmate relationship. So it feels like there's a soulmate who may be with you, or Shamuel is helping to find a soulmate to connect with you who can also support you in recognizing your gifts and um, be supportive of you in terms of how you move forward and what you might do next. You got that this is the perfect time, and you also got the new home. A new home. 
Now sometimes this card is referring to an actual physical location. Sometimes it's about the, the heart. Home is where the heart is. This one more resonates with moving to a different home, a different structure. Might be in a different town, but it uh, might be in the same town, but it feels like moving from the, the house or apartment where you live right now to a different kind of structure. And then this one is saying it's a perfect time to move forward. So <laughs> this, this perfect timing card goes, has two meanings. One is that it's a perfect time to move that this will help. It also, he wants to come back. It also may, may be where your soulmate is. Your, uh, the move, the move could be to your new home, could be where your soulmate is living. So you might move to a new place and your soulmate happens to be in that neighborhood and then you meet this person. Or there's a person already, already there. You may already know them. But moving closer to your soulmate it's a perfect time to do that. <laughs> it's a perfect time to do that. It's also a perfect time to move forward. So the other meaning with this is moving forward with sharing your gifts. This one. So as far as what might be holding you back, the next card that wants to come up from the fairies is that your debt is paid off. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't, you don't owe anyone anything. You deserve uh, success. Sometimes this one's about uh, feeling worthy. Does that make sense? If you feel like you have a debt to pay, or not worthy, but a deservedness as well. If you feel like you have a debt to pay somewhere else, you may not feel like you deserve success. As far as sharing your gifts and moving forward and being happy and joyful and sharing your, your soul's purpose, that would bring joy and it might be that you don't feel like you deserve joy if you feel like you owe someone something else and so they wanted to make sure that your debt that you uh, get the message here today that your debts paid off you don't owe anyone anything and you do deserve all the all the happiness that you can that you can create for yourself for yourself prioritize King Solomon is saying prioritize yourself and he's coming up next to this one you don't owe anyone else anything, and so it's okay to prioritize yourself. Prioritize your higher self, your gifts, your wisdom, and sharing that with the world. Prioritize that now. It's time. It's time to do that. And as you get messages from Shekinah and St. Nicholas, yes, yeah, St. Nicholas is saying, St. <laughs> Nicholas is saying that he's going to be bringing you messages and gifts and so they're saying to listen. These guys want to come back up with this message to listen. Listen to your own higher self and listen for, listen for anything that you might get from our Creator, the feminine of our Creator. And also St. Nicholas. St. <laughs> Nicholas, you might look him up. You might look up St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas of Myra. M-Y-R-A. You might look him up. Uh, he's coming up because he he is connecting with your energy, so you might look him up and see what you can learn about that. So if you are having or feel like you owe someone kind of going into that, or if you're still feeling sort of this, oof, like, oh, it's just too scary to sort of jump off, they're asking you to remember your childhood innocence. And so notice that these children are playing like in the park. They're just out playing in the park. Do you remember when you were a kid? They're like, there was no fear. <laughs> you know, there was no fear. They were just adventurous. They were full of wonder and curiosity about everything. Curious about everything. And do you remember being a kid, how you would share? They're showing me little kids It's like, now, somewhere around the age of three, you don't want to share. That's where you're learning to share. But like once you get past that, <laughs> you share. You share the treasures that you find with each other, especially your favorite people. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. They also are asking you to potentially go on a vision, a vision quest. So they're coming up with the desert with this.
a vision quest. Oftentimes cards will come up that talk about meditating, getting out into nature, those sorts of things. You do have to get outdoors and get into nature. But this one is really intense. The vision quest was a process where the American Indians would go out, you know, they might make a circle out of stone and they would have to go into that circle for, I don't know, however long it took maybe, I don't know, four days? I, I don't know where I'm getting four days. But they weren't allowed to eat or sleep or anything and the whole idea was that they would just sort of lose their mental capacities in all that and, and really get to the root of their heart space and the root of their soul space. Their heart space and their soul space. It, also out in the desert there are absolutely no distractions. No distractions whatsoever. So this is asking you to really, really, and he wants to come back, really, really focus on getting to the root of anything that might be causing uh, some of this pushback from you, some of this fear to, to jump off from childhood. Feels like it's from childhood. Now this one wants to come back with a new, a different meaning, an additional meaning of that there may have been some kind of trauma in childhood. So they're saying, okay, just pause, you know, just pause. So as you're feeling like, okay, so I'm getting these messages, yes, and I feel the universe pushing, but it's okay for you to just kind of pause for a minute do sort of a vision quest, just take a pause, get out into nature and contemplate childhood, potentially a childhood wound and this one wants to come back up too. As far as you deserving to be happy, you deserve to be happy, that's what they're saying. You deserve to be happy, Cancer. Yeah, so get outside, get outside. Uh, and with the desert, you know, being really focused and super clear, get super clear. Some of you may have done this already. It is summertime, so it's, you know, lots of trips maybe have been happening or different getting outside. Maybe there's some things are, are healing for you already, hopefully, in the summer. But if there's any more healing that needs to be done, is what they're saying, so that you can share your gifts. So... Uh, it's 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 kind of interesting take several breaths okay so these breaths and he wants to come too I have two hands <laughs> I have two hands for all these cards all right so all these cards and he wants to come up too he's like wait a minute what about me there's so many cards what about me he's saying breathe this is Raphael about healing. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So when you're outside is what he's saying. Exhale slowly and deliberately release old patterns from childhood. That's in here somewhere from childhood. Honor the cycles and rhythms of your body, energy levels and emotions energy levels and emotions so she wants to come up too with all of this all of this meditating finding a childhood wound potentially where you might feel like you owe somebody something or that you don't deserve to be happy or that you're not worthy or good enough maybe good enough to share your gifts that would make sense too because they're they're you know sort of extra confirming you are gifted so there might be a reason that you need to hear that you are gifted. You may have a belief running that you just don't really believe that you have much to share. You absolutely do. So honor, honor anything that comes up in your vision quest, in your meditations, in your healings, in your healing. Honor anything that comes up, emotions or anything. You can do it. You've got the power to do this and everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be alright. You can do this. You can do this as in terms of this healing. You can do it with the healing. And you can also share your gifts. You can do it. Everything's going to be alright. You've got the power and the strength of the mountain behind you. <laughs> 
the strength of the mountain. I hear some of you giggling. Does that mountain resonate with some of you? <laughs> the strength of the mountain is with you. Yeah, so embody that as well. For some of you, because this message has come up before, I think, wasn't it? Uh, a bit ago that it came up to share your gifts and that there was this big push and, and that you were going to go. Some of you have found it. <laughs> Some of you have find it, found it or this card also is talking about how you will soon, you will soon find it. It could be lots of things. It is uh, believing in yourself. Finding it is finding your soulmate. Now he wants to come back finding your soulmate, a better connection with your soulmate. Uh, you can find how to share your gifts. Yeah, you found it, you can find it. Or some of you have found it and you're, and you're already starting. Yeah, it looks like that's true for some of you as well, too. Also, Archangel Michael is with you if you have found it. Then, imagine Imagine, and you got this one too. Imagine, <laughs> this one has lots of meanings for you as well. Imagine that you have, you have taken that step. You have had the courage or something resonated with you, something triggered, and you, and you took that leap. And you're going down, going down again, going down. So imagine you have taken that leap if you haven't. Imagine that you have how amazing that feels. So some of you, you have done that. Oh, and the confidence, and the confidence that you would feel having done that, especially having come from a place where, where it was so, you know, scary, and then you do it, and then your confidence is just incredible. Archangel Michael is here to say that he is protecting your confidence. He's protecting your confidence, so anytime anything wants to try to, if there's any people who, um, if there's any people who want to block your ability to succeed, if there's anything that wants to get in the way of you moving forward, continuing down the mountain, continuing with your flow and getting and staying in the flow Archangel Michael is here with his sword to help clear away anything that might be getting in your way it's as if he's coming down the mountain next to you just moving things out of your way <laughs> so that you can carry on maintaining and protecting your confidence and this one also came with imagine to say wish upon a star wish upon a star and then imagine it coming true so wishing ab about how you might like to share your gifts if you have not decided that yet stay optimistic you will you will find it <laughs> you will find it if you haven't already you will find it and then we have a few cards here we have a few saints more saints right Saint Nicholas is with you we also have Saint Mother Teresa, the activist. Saint Joan of Arc, you're a leader. So here's three saints that are with you. That feels so appropriate for you. That you have three amazing saints that are with you. So you might look into these three characters, look into these three, and see what you can learn and emulate, you know? be inspired by and then from your guardian angels your guardian angels you you have that you're a visionary your visions you have the visions for what you're wanting imagine it imagine that you are a visionary and, it's, and she's saying trust the visions that you get trust them so okay so they're showing me that like some some of these visions so they just showed me a person envisioning something spectacular and then immediately going no that 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 won't happen or that would be too much work or that just something and then and then the vision just went Poof. like no 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 <laughs> trust your visions 
Trust your visions, imagine them. What would you like to see, feel, taste, hear? It can come true. You can do this when you have this kind of clarity and the clarity is in your visions. You're a visionary. Yeah, that can manifest with your magic into the world. You also got the child card children. A part of your purpose might be working with children. So you might be a leader in some way in working with children. Santa Claus, right, delivered gifts to all the children. He was a gifted sending all the gifts to all the children. So he's wanting to come back up with that one. You're a leader for children. Part of your life's purpose is working with children. So look, we have St. Nicholas, and then we also have this childhood, this childhood card. So there's a few cards coming up now that want to come together talking about working with children. Working with the children. Oh, I love the children. It's so amazing. As golden opportunities come up, take them. <laughs> when doors open, walk through them. Follow your guidance. She'll be guiding you. She'll be guiding you. And so will these others are with you. And the last card you got is the Steady Progress from St. Therese. St. Therese of Lisieux. Lisieux. So look at this, you guys. Steady Progress. So she's saying just keep going. One step at a time. That's another common theme for August. For, for lots of signs is Steady Progress. One step at a time. We have Mother Teresa, Saint Nicholas. Is there another saint? Joan of Arc. Four of them. Four saints. Yeah. Four saints that are with you. That feels so appropriate for you. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Is there anything else? Have a wonderful. August imagining in your vision as your visionary self what you might like to do. How can you share your gifts with the world? Imagine it. Believe it. Alright? I love you guys. Have a great August. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon. Mwah.